Hello and uh, welcome to a new video about uh, Elastic Stack. In this video, I'm going to talk to you on how you can enable uh, HTTPS on Kibana. As you can see on the screen right now, uh, it says that it's not secure and uh, this one is in a plain text uh, HTTP. So nothing gets encrypted between your browser and Kibana. To enable uh, HTTPS on uh, Kibana is quite simple. You would actually need to uh, two things you need the certificate and the key and you will need to specify that uh, SSL should be enabled uh, in the Kibana YAML file so first what we will gonna need to do is to go on the CLI go into user share and then Elasticsearch and uh, in the bin folder we will gonna have a lot of uh, executable scripts so we will have to go to bin and here we're going to see a bunch of uh, executable scripts the one uh, that uh, we are actually interested in it's uh, this one right here Elasticsearch Cert Util so let me go back to the previous directory and let's um, generate a certificate uh, and the key in the PEM format. So for this one, I'm gonna say bin, the folder where we are having the executables, uh, the, the scripts, then Elasticsearch, search util, then we will say certified authority and PEM, the format, and hit enter. By default, the CA mode produces a single PKCS file, but uh, since we have specified the PEM format, the certificate and the key will be uh, separate and uh, they will be archived uh, in uh, this zip file. So, unless you want to change the name of the file, you can uh, simply hit enter. And this is our uh, zip file that we can uh, unpack it and as you can see it uh, created a folder called CA and these are, are our uh, files the certificate and the key you can uh, see the folder right here this folder I'm gonna move it to the root directory okay disappeared so we can go to root, do a list, and you can see it right here. And if we were going to go into CA, do a list, then you're going to see the files in here. Okay, so now that we have done that, it's time to configure the Kibana YAML file. And in this one, we will simply need to look for server.ssl and we have it right here, so we will have to put this one to true. We will have to delete also the hashtags for SSL certificate and the SSL key and right now we will have to specify the path so it's in the folder CA the name is CA cert and this one will be CA.key once we have done this we will have to save the file Control O for nano hit enter and exit in this very moment we will simply need to restart the kibana service let's check the status and it's okay now we can go back to our web interface and 
refresh the web page and actually not only refresh but uh, we will have to put https colon forward slash forward slash and then we should get uh, connected and as you can see this one was a self-signed certificate and uh, hence here you have this uh, error uh, because it's not signed by uh, an uh, official certified authority and uh, in the Kibana log file you might get some weird errors and uh, this is the, the reason why you're going to get these errors because this one is not a certificate signed by a certified authority. So let's just put our uh, username in here Elastic and then the password. And we are in Kibana and right now uh, the communication is uh, encrypted uh, between our browser and Kibana. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to click on the notifications bell icon if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe and talk to you guys in the next one.